you know, one of the things that I think is, is and it has been trending, I think, for a while now, uh, but I was actually just reading one of the articles that we wrote a couple of days ago. Um, it was a gentleman who has focused a lot of their communications internally, as well as externally, but a major focus on internal comms. And one thing that he was doing was recording all of the one-on-ones. He's the, the, the chief human resources officer. He was recording all of his one-on-ones with the CEO. And then they would then send that off to the entire staff, uh, which I thought was really interesting. That is interesting. And I'm sure the CEO was aware that this was happening. <laughs> I, I think so. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, the, uh, and I, I think that's really, I mean, especially, I think it's indicative of the world that we live in and how important transparency and vulnerable leadership is. What, when, when it comes to internal and external communications, what, what's, what's your stance on that? Is, it, is one more important than the other? How do you divvy them out? Um, are you an expert in both, clearly? Uh, but how do you identify what should be done and when it should be done? Just talk a little bit about external versus internal communications. Well, first and foremost, nothing is internal anymore. All right. Unless you're talking about classified government programs where people get indicted if they spill the beans, um, nothing is internal anymore. With the click of a button, it can be in the hands of the media. So I think it's important as a practitioner that you always look at a piece of communication through the lens of if my mother saw this, if, if Sister Mary Phillip, my high school principal, saw this. I mean, because it's highly likely that there's a possibility they could. And that's, that's most important. Um, consistency is key. I, I love what you said about leadership vulnerability. I, I think that's very important. But I think it's the communicator's job to make those efforts easy for the people who are doing the communicating typically the the executives or the leaders of the organization. I've developed apps. I've done electronic staff meetings in a box. Again, trying to break through the muddy middle um, because people want to hear it from their supervisors, right? They want to hear news and information from the person they are closest to in the organization. Um, So yes, in those monthly staff meetings in a box, there might be a video from the CEO that is encouraging or inspiring or talking about a huge corporate initiative, Uh, but the person, the face delivering that message, whether it's in a webcast studio uh, or in person, has to be the person that the the employee, the team member trusts the most. Mm -hmm. 